Have you come across these words? You are wondering what these words are? These are very mild, subtle and gentle sounding words. These are nothing but chemicals found in most of the processed foods that we buy from the market. You may actually need a magnifying glass to look at these words. Here, many of them are appearing in this bottle. Many of these chemicals could have health impacts. Are there alternatives to this? And can we avoid the use of these chemicals in our day-to-day -day life? Welcome to Munch and Mull and keep watching. Do click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon. You may have come across the terms class 1 preservatives, class 2 preservatives. Let's look at what these are. So let's take a quick panoramic view at the various different types of chemicals that go into processed food. Class 1 preservatives are generally preservatives that are found in the common kitchen and they also have a natural origin. Example, salt, vegetable oil, honey, sugar, vinegar. Now class 2 preservatives are chemical in origin and researchers have reported that artificial preservatives such as benzoates, sulfites, sorbates, parabens, formaldehyde and several others can cause serious health hazards ranging from hypersensitivity, allergy, asthma, hyperactivity, neurological damage and even cancer. The next in fine print are permitted food colours. Many of the synthetic food colours are petroleum derived like tartrazine, sunset yellow, erythrocene, indigo carmine and documented health risks include asthma and allergic reactions. A few of them also are suspected carcinogens. And then there are words like acidity regulators, stabilizers, thickeners, emulsifiers, foaming agents, gelling agent, oh my god. Nobody actually knows the extent of health risks associated with most of them. Going ahead are words that read permitted flavors. Natural flavors are flavoring substances which are extracted from vegetable or animal materials and are not further chemically modified or changed. An example of natural flavorings is vanilla extract. But artificial flavoring substances have no equivalent in nature and are obtained by chemical synthesis. The most commonly used chemicals in food flavoring are allyl pyrazine for roasted nut flavor, acetyl pyrazines for popcorn, aldehydes and esters for fruity flavors, alcohols for bitter medicinal flavors, ketones for butter and terpenoids for citrus. All these food additives have been categorized based on an international numbering system and these are called INS numbers. The equivalent in Europe are E numbers and E stands for European Union. Some of them are of natural origin but most are not. The website of the Food and Drug Administration of USA lists almost 4000 substances added to food. There are many substances categorized as GRAS, G-R-A-S, which stands for generally recognized as safe. The GRAS chemicals do not come under the purview of the FDA review and do not have any tolerance limits specified. Can you believe that more than 800 substances are categorized as GRAS? In addition to all those that are permitted, there are many chemicals in use, particularly in India, which are not permitted for use. Food colors like metallic yellow, malachite green, congo red, lead chromate, etc. are some examples. These chemicals are known to have risks ranging from genetic damage to cancer. So what does this all mean for you and for all of us? We need to understand that nobody knows the long-term impact of exposure to this cocktail of chemicals. Safe limits, if at all prescribed, are for healthy adults. So how they impact children, the elderly and the sick or malnourished is unknown. So the wise thing to do is to avoid them as much as possible. A huge chunk of chemicals in our food, it's absolutely frightening. And research papers are indicating that there are associated health risks with all these chemicals. We have given a link to some of the research papers in the description below. You may like to go through it. Is it not time for us to look at safe food?
Hey, have you subscribed to Manchin Mal? Do click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notifications of my newest videos uploaded every Saturday.